Hey, this is Kenny for Kenny's Audiophile Rec Reviews. Thank you very much for you my channel. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. In this really, really quick video, I'm going to give my opinion of the 2023 release of reissue of Steely Dan, the Steely Dan Asia album. This was released September 29th. 2023. I re received mine October 4th today, 2023. So I'm going to give a real quick opinion of this reissue compared to an earlier version of the record. First of all, I purchased mine through Amazon. And I know a lot of you do not like Amazon and buying records from Amazon, uh, but I had a good experience with this one. It was packaged in this box. And this box was placed in a bigger box because I purchased something else from Amazon, you know, so I can get the free shipping. But, um, yeah, this was uh, placed in a bigger box. So it arrived safely. Um, I think I paid $29, uh, $30 for mine, $29.95 or whatever. And the first thing I noticed when I opened the, uh, the album jacket and took the record out, it was in a paper sleeve, and I really have a very low opinion of these paper sleeves, to be honest with you. And this record was in the shrink wrap that was originally on here, was packaged so tight that when I had to take the record out of this paper sleeve, it was somewhat stuck to the paper sleeve, so I was, I was concerned that I was going to scratch a record taken out of this paper sleeve. But luckily, I did not. But I took the record and um, put it in an audiophile sleeve. This is, I don't know if you can see the label of the reissue. Now, this reissue was uh, mastered, a remaster. The original uh, album was um, uh, mastered by Bernie Grumman, and so was this reissue. Um, I think I heard that this 33 and a third reissue this particular one, not the UH2R that's coming out in late October, but this particular issue was sourced from a digital, uh, high-res digital file. I do not know if that's true or not, so those of you in the know, please leave your comments in the comments section below if this particular 33 and a third uh, reissue was sourced from a, a, a digital high-res file. I think I heard or read somewhere, and I'll, I don't know if this is true, that the UHQR version, which was sourced from a backup tape copy because the original uh, tape was lost, I believe, um, the UHQR version is all analog, but this one, I don't know if it's all analog or not. But So please leave your comments in the comment section below if this version was sourced from a digital high-res file. But I'm going to get in the sound of this in a minute. But like I said, I, I wasn't a, I'm not a fan of those paper sleeves. They can leave uh, scratches on records when you move them in and out. Um, now, I, I comparing that to this too, this is my copy has 1977 printed on the label. I don't think you can see it in this um, uh, picture here, a video here. But this is the variant of, this is a, um, in the dead wax, it says AA. Dash 106 and in parentheses it says has re dash 3 dash a so it's that type of variant um, and that's side one of the record and side two i think is a dash b so the dead wax has aa 106 and in parentheses parentheses re dash 3 dash a i think there's some other letters in there scratch out but i can't discern those but that is a i think is earlier variant of the record not an original variant, but an early, early, early one, I think. Um, this cardboard that they reissue, the uh, reissue in is a little thinner and cheaper than the original. It really is. Now, I took the shrink wrap off the reissue so I can see inside. Um, you probably can't see it because of the lighting so bright in my room because I have my night light on. But um, this is identical. Um, this right here, the reissue. 
on the inside of the cover is identical to the original. I thought that the reissue was going to have additional information inside in terms of the remastering uh, engineer and process and so on and so forth, but they're identical inside of the inside of the jackets. But I'm going to give a really quick and brief assessment of the sound. Um, when I listen to, first of all, I'm going to talk about the uh, um, this one, this earlier version of the record. Now, this one, when I listen to it, and oh, by the way, this one in my mind is a engineering masterpiece, a technological engineering masterpiece, in my opinion. This original, it, this is a beautifully mastered recording. It won uh, best, um, I have it written down here, best engineered recording in 1978 at the Grammys. But this is a beautiful recording. It really is. But when I, when I compare this one, and oh, by the way, this is on thinner, cheaper vinyl, the original, whereas the re uh, reissue, I think, is on thicker. It, it feels like 180 gram vinyl. So the, um, the reissue is on better quality vinyl. Um, at least in terms of weight anyway. But when I li listen to the original and compare it to the um, the reissue, the original is very, it's very thin. First of all, it's a beautiful recording, don't get me wrong. But compared to the reissue, it's very thin, somewhat, you know, high in the treble uh, area. You know, it's very, very bright in comparison to the reissue. The reissue to me, to my ears, on my system, and oh, by the way, I'm using a Riga P8 turntable with an Afeta 3 cartridge to do this uh, very brief assessment and comparison, and a West, that's WHEST.20 phono stage. Now, when I do these comparisons, the original sounds very bright and almost thin compared to the reissue. The reissue sounds... Um, it captures the high-end frequencies well, you know, the top end and the bottom end, the bass, it represents it very well. In other words, it, it, it represents the frequency range from the top end to the bottom end very well, in my opinion, better than the original. The original seems a little bit more on the thin side, very high on the treble side. And um, the remake, the reissue, I can discern instruments voices and uh, instrumentation and background vocals much better. It seems like the, the reissue, uh, it seems more fuller to me when I'm listening to it. It seems more, for some reason, slightly more expansive, very warm. And um, like I said, you can hear the bass well and the treble well. And it seems more, for some reason, I don't know why, it seems more expansive and more of a joy to listen to. It's not like the original is bad or anything. And some of you out there may prefer the original over uh, the reissue. But me personally, I like the, uh, the way that the reissue represents in a three-dimensional soundstage the top end of the frequency range and the bottom end. And the, it seems more fuller to me. And as a, the drum kit sounds like a real, more like a real drum kit on the reissue because it, it's a little bit more, more warm. It, you can hear the cymbal well, but you can hear the deep bass well. Uh, the vocals are very well present, presented and expansive on the uh, reissue. Maybe just a little bit better, better on the original. Like I said, the original comparatively is a little bit thin to me. Even though it's a great mastering job, a great recording, I prefer the uh the reissue in my opinion i think they did a fantastic job with this reissue i was originally going to wait to do this um when i received my uhqr version of the record later in october of 2023 the reason i'm doing this now is not everybody's going to buy the uhqr it's a 150 dollars record not everybody's going to go out run out and buy a 150 dollars uhqr record and they may opt to buy this reissue version of Asia. But in my opinion, um, to my ears, on my system, on my Riga P8 turntable with a Feta 3 cartridge, the reissue sounds more 
a fuller and it's a more beautiful, a more warmer, a more slightly more expansive, a slightly more fuller uh, listening experience to me, whereas the original was a little bit on the high treble and thin side. So I prefer the reissue over the original by um, by a small margin, but it's a margin nonetheless. If I were to choose between the two, I would choose the reissue. But like I said, it depends on our listening test. But for those of you who have both versions, please leave your comments in the comments section below. That's just my opinion, my assessment. If I were to choose between the two, I would choose the reissue. Uh, I think it's a good value at um, approximately $30, uh, in my opinion. Like I said, I just love the, the fullness and the, um, and, and the beauty and the warmth of the reissue over the original. But please leave your comments in the comments section below. Thank you very much for viewing my video. Please like and subscribe. That will help my channel out. And I will do probably another video once I get my UHQR. So we'll see how that uh, stacks up against uh, the uh, reissue and the original. So please leave your comments in the comments section below. Please like and subscribe. God bless. Strong love. Peace to all worldwide.